Hi, my name is Dr. Brad Anderson. I'm the adjunct professor for pastoral and youth ministry at Erskine Theological Seminary. I think one area that we need to emphasize when we're looking at youth ministry is that we think that youth ministry is a young person's ministry, a young person's emphasis, when really a good church-based youth ministry includes all generations. Uh, when children grow in the church, uh, they sit with people in the pews and they need to meet uh, older, wise, young, or, and younger even Christians. Uh, they need to experience the wisdom and have uh, the folks in the pew with them, ask them how they're, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> students need uh, wisdom in the pew and they need people asking them how's school going how are things uh, in your family how are your friends uh, really getting getting to know them I mean there's conversational ministry uh, for the church uh, but then you have Sunday school teachers who uh, can give that hour or so of time in the church uh, to devote to students um, then you have elders and deacons and just everyone else in the congregation who need to get to know the next generation in order again to share the gospel with them. Uh, youth ministry is a whole church endeavor. There are, uh, There is plenty of room for staff. Of course, there are pastors, but uh, we need all kinds of uh, laity. We need all kinds of volunteers willing uh, on some level to invest in the next generation. And that can look as different and unique as the makeup of your church is. And so we need to encourage uh, people from all generations, all sorts of backgrounds uh, to engage the next generation and what a joy that is.